Master Shot were introduced with the R2S in uh, 2022. At first, it was something that I dismissed as a simple trick to make quick holiday short movies to show to friends. But when I tested this function, I found out that it is also a very interesting tool to quickly produce several interesting clips, particularly useful when scouting a new location. Master Shots also generate an automated short movie with music that can be customized in many ways, as we will see in the second part. The master shot item in the video photo menu can only be accessed when the drone is flying. We can expose either in auto or in manual mode. We can also select the resolution up to 4K at 30 frames per second. But sadly, we can only shoot in normal mode. This in a like at the moment is not available. According to the subject and the distance, the software will choose a different sequence of moves named portrait, proximity or landscape. A target has to be selected by drawing a box around it. If a person is in the frame, it will be automatically recognized as a target that we can select by simply tapping on the plus sign above. If the target is a person, the mode applied will be portrait. For any other target, the software will choose proximity for closer targets and landscape for targets further away. In the middle there is a box showing the estimated flight time, which varies according to the situation, generally between 2 and 3 minutes. If we open the box, we access three parameters, width, length and height. We can set each of them to small, medium or large. When starting with master shots, it is better to choose an area without major obstacles or slopes, as the aircraft will perform a lot of different moves at different heights. There are not real lateral moves the most dangerous, as the Mini 3 doesn't have lateral sensors. But a lot of circling is involved. The sensors should be able to detect obstacles in these situations, but it is a bit borderline, therefore some caution is suggested. In proximity mode, after adjusting the position, the drone will perform a droney, then a circle from far away, a pitch up and fly forward while tilting up the gimbal, then a circle from closer range zooming in, another circle from medium range, a rocket, then a camera down flying forward towards the target, a screwdriver circling in a top-down view, then descending with the camera pointing forward, a descent with camera top-down. At the end of the master shot, the aircraft returns to the original location. It must be said that the tracking of the target is not as accurate as in the R2S or in the Mavic 3. Proximity aims to produce some very interesting close-up shot of a subject, but we notice that the target drifts several times during the moves, and in the most important ones, the top-down shots, the target is not exactly in the center of the frame, which is disappointing. Some tweaking is still needed. Landscape mode is applied by default when the target is much farther away. In this mode, the vehicle starts with a drone, followed by a circle from far away, then a pitch up fly forward, then a roll while flying forward, a closer circle zooming in, then a zoom out, a circle from medium distance, a rocket, a circle with camera forward, a descent with camera forward. In this mode the drone never gets very close to the target. 
it is aimed to give an overview of the surroundings. In portrait mode, the first move is a zoom in, zoom out, for a sort of vertigo effect. Then a circle from medium range, followed by another one from shorter distance. Then a drone, and as you can see now, some guests are joining the show. A circle from far away. A pitch up with the camera pointing down, flying towards the target. A rocket. A circle with the camera pointing down. A descent with the camera facing forward. And a descent with the camera pointing down. Another factor that needs planning is the exposure. The drone moves in all directions and the camera shifts several times from top down to straight ahead and this involves huge changes of luminosity in most light conditions. One possibility is to use auto exposure. In this case the software will modify the exposure parameters while the luminosity varies. I never use auto exposure even though for master shot, it can be empty. There are two major issues. First of all, the software has a big tendency to overexpose. And even worse, when the intensity of light changes, we can very clearly see a progressive shift of luminosity in the footage. This is the bigger factor screaming amateur job, and the resulting clips cannot really be used for anything serious. It is fine for beginners to start with auto exposure, but I strongly recommend getting used as soon as possible to shoot manually. Even when using manual exposure, there will be issues due to the extreme difference in luminosity. Maybe the clips with the camera facing forward will be overexposed, but the one with the camera looking down will be excellent. To reduce the overexposure of the brightest part, it is better to choose the value small for the parameters, width and length. This way the sky will appear less frequently in the frame. For best results, it is better to shoot master shot at sunrise or sunset, or with the sun covered by clouds, or else with the sun behind the aircraft, in order to reduce the dynamic range. The raw footage is excellent and I didn't notice the issue with crash shadows that I had with regular footage. I'm starting to understand the reason why the shadows are so crashed in video and not in photography. I think I will do a video about it soon. On DJI Fly Up, it is possible to generate short movies with music, with a choice of several different templates. Once we have downloaded the files to the album of DJI Fly Up, the master shot files appear with this icon with a star on the left. We can visualize our full length clip, which in this case is about two and a half minutes, or choose one of the many templates supplied, containing music. Each template will select a portion of the full clip. As an example, this one will produce a short movie of only 15 seconds. Others contain titles. Others are a bit longer. When we find one that we like, we can save it for uploading to social media or store it on our computer. Here are a few examples of the same clip processed with different templates.
Mastershot is a relatively useful feature, not only to have some fun with auto-generated short movies, but also to quickly produce some interesting clips of an unknown area. This is the first iteration and a bit of tweaking is still needed. There is a bit of wobbling during the flight and some moves end up being off target. DJI will certainly improve things by firmware update. Click on this link to watch other videos about the Mini 3 and don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.